What's going on church fam? It's church life bringing y'all another video. So when me and my mom and sister was homeless, there was a time on the journey that I wanted to quit. I wanted to give up on everything and go back to my hometown. But I began to realize what was taking place as I was on the journey. See, once we got to a certain part of the journey, I started to realize I didn't have no friends no more. I didn't have no family members to support me. The only people I had was my mom and sister. And sometimes my brother when he can do what he could. But I ain't really have that many people to really stand by my side. And it made me realize when you go back to somewhere that you're no longer welcome to, it's going to be bad for you. And I wish I had known this sooner. But it took for the Heavenly Father to isolate me. See, the real truth about isolation is this. God wants to save your life. Point blank period. When God isolates you from a sinful lifestyle, he wants to save your life. Because if you return back to a place that you're no longer welcome to, not only will it become worse, but the enemy will try even harder to destroy you. He's not going to hold back. Sometimes we can be going right back into the enemy territory the moment we feel a little bit uncomfortable. But it's through that uncomfortable state that the Heavenly Father can bring us to a lifestyle of abundance. See, God wants you to have things in life, but you first must get out of that comfort zone. The moment you get out of that comfort zone, that's when you start realizing the real truth. See, when the children of Israel was being delivered out of the hands of Pharaoh, they got to the Red Sea and they wanted to turn back around. They wanted to go back to the enemy because they thought Moses led them to their death because the Heavenly Father hadn't split the Red Sea yet. See, God chose this path on purpose because he wanted to display his power amongst the enemy. He wanted to let the people know that if they stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, they will have nothing to fear because God has all power over the enemy. So when the Heavenly Father finally split the Red Sea, the people began to walk through and they was relieved because they was able to escape from the enemy that was chasing them. And once they got across, the walls of the Red Sea came crashing down on the enemy and the enemies was no more. See... Here's why when the Heavenly Father separates you from a certain crowd, a certain individual, or a certain environment, when the Heavenly Father is isolating you from this environment to bring you to another environment, here's why we shouldn't go back. Here's why we're not welcome back. It's because if the children of Israel would have turned back, they would have suffered the same fate as Pharaoh and his people. The walls of the Red Sea would have came crashing down on everybody that wanted to turn back if that's what they would have done. So not only would it have been worse to go back to a familiar place, but they also would have died in the process. See, when God isolates you, it's him saving your life. When God calls that separation to happen with you and certain people, God is saving your life. When we live in a certain lifestyle and God is saying, nah, repent from those ways, serve me and I will protect you. When God starts doing that, that's because he has a plan and purpose for your life and he wants to bring you to a place of abundance. See, that's what God was doing with the children of Israel. But they didn't catch on in time enough. So they had to roam the, the desert for, I think it's say 40 years. And it wasn't even supposed to take that long. The reason why God can't bless you like he wants to sometimes because you're living amongst the enemy. 
You're in the enemy's territory. So that's the purpose for the isolation because God is breaking habits that we may have acquired with living in a certain lifestyle. God is breaking habits. He's breaking generational curses. He's drawing you back to him. He's changing the posture of your heart. He's renewing your mind, your soul. He's breaking off certain things that's attached to your old life so you can step into a new life. When you turn back to a problem that the Heavenly Father wants to deliver you from, it gets worse until eventually it consumes you altogether. See, that's how I look at the Red Sea. If they would have turned back and went back to Pharaoh, it would have consumed everybody who was attached to Pharaoh. See, when God isolates you, he's causing a separation that's attached to you and the life he wants you to leave behind. Because the enemy is attached to your old life. Certain people that influence you in a bad way, that may influence bad habits, that's attached to your old life. That's the lifestyle God wants you to leave behind. So to be set free, the Heavenly Father has to relocate you from your old environment to a new one. Because it's hard to change in the land of familiar. It's too many distractions. That's why God isolates us. And sometimes we might have to go through isolation amongst other people that got to go through isolation. So when you're in a place of isolation, you're not always alone either. It's going to be other people that's like-minded. They're on the journey too. But to bring this to a close, when me and my family was homeless, I thank God I didn't turn back to a land of familiar. Because if I would have done that, I probably would be dead. I wouldn't be spreading the gospel. I wouldn't be doing the Heavenly Father's will. See, when God moved us from Greenville, North Carolina to Columbia, South Carolina, that's when God started to reprogram my mind. He started to change my perspective on how I view life. I had to become homeless to understand where my true home is, where my heart is. See, when you place your heart in the hands of God, when you stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, that's when things start to happen. That's when that transformation begins to take place. That's when you can enter into the land of milk and honey, just like the children of Israel. And majority of them didn't get a chance to experience that life of abundance because of their mind. The mindset was messed up. Their heart was corrupted. See, another thing I realized, we got to learn how to manage our freedom. If we use our freedom to do wickedness, guess what? The wages of sin is death. God showed us that with Pharaoh and the Red Sea. So, remember, we're not welcome back to an old lifestyle. We got to step into the newness of life if we hope to be delivered from certain things that we struggle with. If we hope to be delivered from the enemy, because it's people that the devil will use. So don't turn back. The real truth of isolation is because God wants to save you. He wants to save your life. I pray this bless you in Jesus name. Amen. I love y'all.